What's a wonderful purpose of practical computer or comprehensive school? This is another tutorial video. Yes, hope you're ready for your test. Pay close attention because some of the questions or some of the lessons we're learning, we've been learning so far, we come up with our test on the seventh week. So get prepared. And as you're getting prepared, pay close attention to what we have today on mathematics for our sixth week. And for those of you in basic four, our topic is data representation. Data representation and learning on what we have for this week. Let's look at our objectives. By the end of the lesson, you are expected to be able to one, prepare tally of data, two, use bar chart and pictogram to represent data. So now let's look at how we do all this. Right now we are looking at using tally to represent data. What is tally? It simply means grouping same numbers and telling their total frequency. For example, they said, prepare a tally for the following data. We have two, four, Three, five, seven, seven, eight, nine, five, four, three, two, five, six, eight, seven, nine, one, 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 two, four, six, five, seven, 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 nine, four, seven. Solution. You prepare a table. Yeah, you put your max first, and next is your tally, next is your frequency. Frequency is how many times did they occur? We look at one. How many times did number one occur? These are the marks. One occurred three times. We stroke one, two, three. And figure, we write it out here. Three. Number two, how many times did it occur? It occurred here is one, here is two, and here is three. So we say we stroked three and we wrote it in. And figure here. Number three, how many times did it occur? Here is one, and I'm searching. Here is two, and I'm searching. I can't find another one. So it occurred two times. We stroke two, and we write it out in figure. Same thing with number four, number five, number six. Now, number seven is having an odd kind of stroke. There is another line crossing these four strokes. So now what does it mean? It means we are wrapping it to a bundle because it's up to five. When it's up to five, you bundle it. When it's up to five, you bundle it. So I use the fifth one to bundle the four strokes, which means seven or called five plus two, seven. Let's count and see if that data or detail is correct. We have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. So seven occurred seven times. You see how I prepared it. I represented it here in seven. Eight occurred how many times? Two times. Nine occurred how many times? Three times. So that is where we stop. So now all you have to do is to add up all these numbers on that frequency. Or easily you count the tallies. The stroke. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, plus the one, that one on top of it, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and what is our total we wrote here? 30. Now you see how to practically represent data using a tally. Now let's look at using a bar graph or a pictogram next. We are using pictogram to represent data. When they say pictogram, it's originated from the word picture. Picture graphics picture graphics so now pictogram simply means using images to represent 
data or tell information. Example, the pupils in basic four were asked to write down their favorite fruits. 20 pupils liked orange. 18 liked, sorry, 20 pupils liked mango. 18 liked orange. 5 liked banana. 3 liked pineapple. And 4 liked apple, respectively. So as a pictogram, the circular shape here represents orange. This triangular shape represents mango. This the rectangular shape here represents banana. Anywhere it's rectangle is banana. The star shape here represents pineapple. And this moon shape, this crescent of a circle, represents apple. So now what are we going to do? How many pupils liked mango? And what is our image for mango? Triangle. So let's count triangles and see how many is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now you see it. This rectangular shape is for what? Banana. How many people liked banana? Five pupils liked banana. We count. One, two, three, four, five. So now with this shape, now you've understood how many pupils liked which. So this is how we use pictogram to represent data. Next on our slide is what? Using bar chart to represent data as a bar chart. We use bar. You see all these things you are seeing here? They are called bar. Remember, we are still on mango, banana, orange, pineapple, and apple. The longest bar represents the one with the highest likes, the fruit that the pupils likes the most, which is mango. 20 pupils liked mango. The next to the longest one, after it now, the next one that is longer is what? Orange. 18 pupils liked orange. Now you can see how long it is. So next that was more like is what? Banana. The next is what? Apple. Before pineapple. You can see pineapple is having the smallest bar here. And apple's bar is smaller than banana bar. You can see how we use bar to tell which one is the most liked and the least liked. This is it, very simple. So, as you pay close attention, you play this video on and on and on again so that you don't get the, um, confused. And even if you get confused, don't forget or don't feel to comment in that discussion box. Auntie, I don't understand this. Let it be interactive. And like I said earlier on, prepare for your test. Your seventh week test is coming up and it's going to be what? What expecting. So that'll be it. See you in another tutorial video. Bye.